Good job. Good job. At the Pecan Springs Elementary School, a group of students is making a place for wildlife. We're planting a garden. And a place for themselves. Well, there's a lot of things about growing a garden. It attracts people, it attracts wildlife, and it, you know, sometimes it attracts yourself. This fifth grade class is learning science hands-on by building their own wildscape. We call ourselves the Pecan Springs Urban Biologists. And so this is kind of an example of urban kids experiencing biology and not just kind of watching a video or reading a book. For 12 weeks, these urban biologists dug, raked, and planted to bring a little nature back to their schoolyard. And while they're planting flowers, they're also sowing seeds of self-esteem. The butterflies and hummingbirds are attracted to these flowers that we put out. So when they come, that makes me happy. He didn't care much about anything. It was kind of hard to find something that he was interested in. And this, this I think, just completely turned him around. Made him open his eyes to a world that he didn't know was there. Catherine Palmer knows about opening her eyes to a new world. She gave up her job as a television producer to start the Pecan Springs Urban Biologist Program. I met a child in a park who was asking me so many questions about, about animals, and he wanted me to take him to the park so he could see deer, which he had never seen in his life. And I realized that I would be one more adult that would turn my back on this kid if I said no. So I just decided to give up my position as producer and start this program. But the commitment doesn't end when the garden is finished. Like a garden, like this one, we don't expect to see results overnight. I mean, there's some plants in here that look like sticks, but over time, given a little tending, a little care, they're going to blossom, and this garden is going to be fabulous in a few years. And that's what I think is going to happen with these kids. After all, you reap what you sow. In East Austin, this is Lydia Saldana reporting.